Well, it's an absolutely beautiful morning here in Reed's Park. I just figured I'd do a quick GoPro video. Uh, God, hopefully I can remember to keep it pointed in the right direction, which probably isn't this direction. It's probably this direction. Um, beautiful, beautiful morning. Um, 101 bridge. Train bridge. Mouth of the Smith River. So, I want to take you on a quick little tour, show you, you know, what's been done. We got the burn cans are going to be going pretty good today, but I salvage as much wood as I can to burn in the fireplace. Woods like many. Um, most of this parking lot's been power washed, but, you know, it still needs some more. A couple trees removed, quite a few more, all, that whole cluster of alder and all of these alders right here you know soon to be history um we're moving the tires up to make the waterfall a little better we've been you know all over up here here's the truck i just bought um you know nice little utility vehicle get it cleaned up a little bit it'll be awesome church vehicle anyway um water's flown pretty pretty nicely um we're gonna build a nice little waterfall up here while we'll rebuild it because it's obviously been built before um you know all the water here goes into a storm drain um i'm thinking it's probably you know 50 gallons a minute mm, probably around there it sounds you know, you can see quite a bit right here going up. I mean, it's flowing a little harder than normal. It's not raining right now. It's just the mountains charged. I want to take you down. It goes from that storm drain right there, which we cleaned out and got draining really good, so it'll never really be a problem. But it goes from there down to the street. And it's pretty impressive sounding down at the street. <laughs> been working on the parking lot trying to build up areas that are low need to get another load of asphalt but I'm heading down the driveway see some of what we've already patched you know has washed out it's just a matter of like continually patching until it no longer washes out but um most almost everything's been power washed you know a few times except for a pie it's starting to get a little cleaner but yeah the storm drain that's out on the street that comes down from the spring that's on the back the fourth parcel on the property I bought comes out right here I mean it's Maybe more than 50 gallons a minute, but it's crystal clear and, you know, there's deer trails up there on the back of the hill. We watched a deer uh, two Thursdays ago walk into the parking lot from around the corner up the steep driveway. I'll take you over and show you the steep driveway, but, um, yeah, we were... He came, he came up this way. We were standing in the back of the church. This driveway needs a lot of work. Um, this driveway really needs a lot of work. And I got, you know, a lot of work, period. Okay. Anyway, the deer came, you know, it was a, like 150 pound buck. Um, came up here, my Jeep was parked right here under the awning. Um, we were standing, my Jeep was right here. We were standing right here. The deer walked around the corner. 
walked right straight to the front of my Jeep. If the driver door would have been open, he would have closed it. He stopped, he looked right straight at us from, you know, eight or 10 feet here. And then he took off up that deer trail right over the cab of the, there's, there's some other little trails here. You can see where they, you know, obviously they're using the easiest path, but it's pretty steep right there. It's like 10 feet straight up and they're, they're using it no problem. Anyway, the roof's still an ongoing situation because to put the roof on, the rafter beams need to be repaired. That's a structural issue, not a roofing issue. And, you know, I knew it was going to be over and above the estimate I got from the ripper, but the ripper needs that work done. And the only way I can get it approved is to submit, have a structural engineer do drawings, you know, that support the repairs, being able to to handle the the load, the gravitational load, and the wind wind shear load, and everything of the roof. And you know, once I get that submitted to the building inspector and he approves it, I can go buy the materials and, and I got, you know, four or five people that are ready to, you know, start doing the work. He went, the ripper wants to come do this area and I just got to thinking it's been used as a chute. It needs to be cleaned up and disassembled. All of this needs to be stripped out because it's, it's wood damaged or water damaged uh, r rotted wood, whatever. And it just needs to be reframed, have a door put on it, remove the window. I'm going to remove these two windows. Um, I just don't like looking across from the, this is the house. Um, this is like some supplemental buildings. The church is over there. Um, they're all connected. It's like, a a nice little wrap maze inside you know there's no walls so you can see everywhere you're going yet sometimes it's hard to get there um and, it, and there's lots of times when you start going someplace and you get sidetracked and you forget where you're going and you end up standing there twiddling your thumbs because where you're at there's nothing going on nothing to do um well, not many places have nothing to do, but um, starting to fall in love with these uh, old, um, not nicely bent pipes, uh, conduit pipes that they use for the handrails. Um, I've, you know, decided I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to paint them black and just work with them. Maybe cap them with um, driftwood handrails, but you know there's something there to work with it's it's part of the church that's obviously a hundred year old pipe bending some of the pipes you know deteriorated like I'm, this has been bolted back together with a splice and it needs to be cleaned up um, before it gets painted but anyway the stairs are all pretty much power washed several times they're ready for stain as soon as we get, you know, some warmer weather where everything can dry out real good. Um, I'm I'm gonna call it there. We got all all of this has all been power washed. It's all clean. I mean, the windows are all clean. I'm working on the doors. Almost every door on this entire church was hung with the casing and the doors inside out because the hinges are on the outside all you got to do is pop the hinges and you can get in don't matter whether it's got locks or not the hinges are supposed to be on the inside and everything's backwards so i got to cut all the nails on all the casings on almost every single freaking door here and flip the whole casing around to put the doors in the proper direction um i mean there's just all the windows in the church all the ones in the house have already been replaced with you know double pane 
vinyl windows and and I've already checked you know weather weather proofing and it's all buttoned up real nice type but everything on the church is single pane old and not worth not worth really restoring so you know I'll do something with them as far as making some kind of cabinetry and using those as like doors on the face um, and I will clean them up eventually but I will replace all of that uh, single pane brittle old glass non safety glass uh, with with something much much better um, you know I got a few little issues that I've been dealing with and things are getting better um, you know step by step it, it all wasn't gonna get done in a month or two and once I realized that <laughs> you know I'm good you know it's gonna take six months whoops I mean six years I mean the rest of my life uh, talk to you later